Well, hello there and good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're playing Crusader Kings 2 Critical Castile. Critical in that we've made some critical mistakes. However, we are going to fix them somehow. This guy's actually really good, except that he's stressed. He wants to become King of Aragon. How is that going to happen, man? You're a count in my country. Believe me, if I had Hispania as an empire, I'd give you the Kingdom of Aragon. I want the Kingdom of Aragon under my control. It's just not going to happen, man. But whatever. I still have mercenaries besieging by an, an advantage of 31 people. Thankfully, there's... Oh, no, there's a character involved. I'm wrong. We're improving relations with Barcelona, even though they're sort of circling the drain. We are in a holy war defending against Yusuf the Unready. Right, Yusuf? Yep, Yusuf. In, got a lot of Emir titles, but no king level title. And Gwynedd is bringing more people over. That's not what I want to see. But he's bringing them over, they're landing, and then they're running away like chickens. Uh, we have the city in actual. I really don't think it's worth besieging the barony. You know, he can keep it for all I care, right? Does he own it personally? He does. I guess it's worth it. I'm really concerned that I'm not going to have enough. Okay, well, they've. The top holding's dropped and it's about. I'll leave him in charge. He's probably gotta love me, cause I've. Yeah, Galakan. We are having lots of children, which is exactly what we want. I know it's a lot of claims, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children. Three bastards want to legitimize. That's fine. We'll get you in a bit. That's why I hired these mercenaries. We can afford to pay them and still make a profit. We're doing well, and my levies are recovering. Believe me, once Navarre is finished, we're going to win this war. And here comes Denmark! Denmark for the win! Can Denmark do it? Should I help them if they try? Uh oh. Now I have a problem. We've taken Nigera. You're moving on Nigera. September 4th, you're gonna make it there first. Better run, pal! You're not getting out of this. Boink! And you're gonna beat Denmark. Maybe you are getting out of this. Eh, uh, man. But I wanted to win this siege. 2260. What do I have nearby? I have another 900 men. Good, go. That ought to back you off. <laughs> oh, 5,000. Catholic Uprising. Yes, do it. Go. Yes. No, don't fight the Danish, you dummies. <laughs> no, turn this Catholic. Don't come to Alberikin. Yes, kill him. Go. Do it. Yes. No, don't kill Denmark. Denmark is your friend. Denmark is trying to help you. Don't you understand? I know we're all red to you, but come on! Beat him up! Siege of Logarena, good. We're gonna own Navarra, it's gonna be a top level holding, and then we can just go smash the Holy War guy. An offer for peace. Gains the Duchy of Navarra. We surrender under these terms, you'd better surrender. Good. Good riddance. Hmm. I personally own these both, and this cat, the barony. Do you have a son who's kind of old enough to handle himself? I do. He's second in command. He's heir to the Duchy of Navarra. Do I want another barony just flat out, like, under high military guy? You're good. Yeah, you have a liege. I'm gonna get rid of that. Grant landed title. I have two baronies now, nice. Okay, I only need to get rid of one. I'm gonna get rid of the one in Burgos, because it's not really my primary. It's not, it's probably not as well developed. I'll check though real quick. If I were, I can hold four slots. This can also hold four. Ooh! That's a decision. Just got their little thing here. Ok, 
Okay, he's just a direct vassal, that's why he's showing up. Right, okay. Just making sure. Um, I'm one over my domain limit. I can't bump up the high centralization. I need to get rid of something. I don't even have two duchies, do I? I only have one duchy, that's nice, that's interesting. So Navara, I want to keep. Najera, I could give to a vassal. I could give a Najera. I could just give a Najera. You know what? I'm going to do that. No. You know what I'm going to do? Grant landed title. What am I doing? Close. Close that. Thank you. Grant landed title. I'm going to go with what I originally planned. I'm going to give you Strobe because Navara is a capital. The main holding is probably as upgraded as it's going to get. So this guy's a Baron. He's got 23 military. Plus it's already well administered. So he's already going to be able to give me a decent number of troops, I think. And now we can merge up and we can crush the invaders. We're still we're not making a profit anymore. That's not as good as I would have hoped. But it's okay. I need to siege back out there. Albarakin. Blanca. Wow. We're having a lot of children. My wife has to hate me. Yep. Uh. <laughs> hey, Spymaster. I hope you're really good. I don't care. Two children. My air lacks a guardian. Thank you, game, for letting me know this. Who's the other child? Tello. Oops. Yep, you can get it. Go. Do it. I want this back. I want what is mine. I want what is his. I don't care about the Catholic Uprising, really. I wonder if he would want a white piece out. I would lose 100 prestige. No, he would. He has 13 men running around the countryside. He's a dead man. They're dealing with so many freaking uprisings. And rebel flat out rebellions. Like, this wasn't independent before, was it? It's a shame I can't con any of you guys into being allies with me. It's attacking King Garcia. King Garcia of Galicia. Galicia, which is like half occupied by Leon. That's such a problem. Well, that was quick. Fine. Now I will stand my military home and rebuild again. Except now I own Navarra and Nigera. <laughs> like, that was quick! Ooh, tech. Hold up here. This could be good. The game stops auto-saving and works. Uh, what am I getting in? Castle infrastructure. It's like a number in. A call to arms has been received from... Stop. Why are you playing? You're gonna be my next character. I have never had a problem with someone being content. Because, looking at it, the intrigue is bad, and I know it has this subtle effect of like, oh, you're not going to fabricate claims as an NPC, but you're going to be a played character. So the leech opinion plus 50, that doesn't matter too much. But the piety isn't... Really? Wait a minute. Hold on, this is content? Oh, wait a minute, no. This is different than Historical Immersion Project. Historical Immersion Project gives you, uh... Yeah, no, I don't want you to be content. Okay, Ragnar of the Danish Revolt. Well, you helped me. I have to uh, at least in name help you. I'm not sending any damn troops up there. I don't have any. That's a one province revolt anyway. How would you possibly... Well, two province. And you lost most of your military fighting for me. Oops. Shouldn't have done that, should you? It's 
title loss on succession. Wait a minute. What's my primary title? It's the king, right? Why wouldn't my son get the duchy? Freaking gavel kind, man. Got to get off of this shit. Primogeniture. I'm not at peace. I could change it if I wasn't at peace. And if I had high crown authority. When can I change crown authority? I can't. Well, what's the point then? What am I going to do? That's great. Can I do seniority? I could do seniority. Seniority, the eldest member of the dynasty inherits all titles. I can do elective monarchy. So subjects are flipping, but it's still Sunni. Hmm. Wait a minute. Cardinal Heost. He's Irish, why do I care? my weaker brothers and I have to rebuild my troops and be ready to move on him. I cannot even like emphasize oops and I can't I can't explain how screwed I am if I can't raise troops. Uh huh, dangerous factions. Who is dumb enough? What? You're my freaking spy master, you idiot. And how do you have 75% of my manpower? Why don't you like me? Foreign conquer- well, I could think of some ways to get rid of you. Desires the Duchy of Navarra? Uh, I don't see a claim, and you're retarded. No offense, but, well, okay, so you just can't talk. Um, okay. Be a faction. Have fun with that. Well, that'll change real fast. I mean, raise levies penalty, I understand. People being a little ticked off about. Peasant revolts. Don't happen. Do I still owe money? I do still owe money. Charge up my temple vassal relations is. They all love the new pope. Prince Sancho, brilliant warrior, siege master, and 16. Yes, perfect. Who are you going to marry that's going to be good? Basilius Michael the Accursed. We claim on the Byzantine Empire. It can be inherited. It's not going to be useful though. You on the other hand. I mean you're young. That would be sort of a problem. It's gotta be somebody like of age or right about to be of age. Let's check the rank list once more. Let me put it in an order here. You're 15. You're the Countess of Veglia. Countess of Toledo. Your heir is the King of Croatia. And you. Our Countess, you only own one count and you have no claims. Hmm, Countess of Tours. 
A Baroness isn't terrible if she's got claims to something. I know they play in the marriage game, and it's always like, ah, oh, marriage game, why? But she's not bad. She's born in the purple. I'm kind of curious. She's 33. There's no way I can kill him. I could actually kill him. We should put one of his children on the... No way. I could never do that, could I? Kill him. Ma marry his daughter to my son. Kill him. You know, one kid in the way, maybe two. Assassinate the whole line. And she would get... Oh, no. Once she had a weak claim, I could push the claim for my wife. And then our son... No. And our grandson would be the emperor. That's a tempting bit of madness to engage in, but we're not going to. See, the problem with her is she's too young. I would love to have Warwick and then Lancaster, but she's eight. That's, I mean, it's not like I don't have other heirs, but it's really pushing it. Is it showing who the claims are? Interesting. Hmm. But this would be guaranteed grandsonage. And it's two counties. It's Warwick. She's Warwick and something else, too. And she is the Countess herself. So she should pop up as soon as I click the right thing. Yeah, no. Warwick, right? Where the hell's Warwick? Warwick. Worcester. I saw it for like a brief second. Warwick. Wait a minute. I'm not hallucinating. She definitely exists. Okay, what is your title? Duchy of Warwick, Duchy of Lancaster. Duchy of Warwick. You have a liege, but if you married my kid... Would that make him go to her court since he's landless? Either way, be a descent direct descendant would own that. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I have to kill him. Let's see what happens. This is part of the fun of learning. He's still in my court, but she hasn't gotten to mine. I hear you, Alarm. She's not independent, so that's kind of a nuisance, but give it eight more years and <laughs> eight years. My kid's going to have bastards by then, too, but that's okay. He can have bastards all he wants, but we will deal with his bastards next time. Until then, as always, La Paz.